Coast to the Streets, man. Today, right now, at this moment, what we finna talk about, we talking about Bun B. One half of the legendary group UGK. If you had to separate both of them, I still would consider both of them legends. But at the same time, we watching Bun B go through some things that happened a couple years ago in his, in his personal life. This is nothing that we should be taking or, or, or using against Bun B as something to discredit him for because he been a street rapper for 30, 40 years and all of a sudden somebody decides to violate his personal space and he took action. This is no different from somebody taking your car and you don't know who took it. You have to file a report. In this case, somebody came in his house it got physical his family was in harm's way he's the protector he's the man of the house he defended his house but at the same time you just can't go out there and go wild wild west and think you ain't got an answer to nobody or explain what happened and in his case that's what happened but we don't have no street situation going down right now where he need to get on the stand and point at a code D that helped him participate in whatever he going through right now. This ain't that and we finna talk about it. It's time for that. Culture for the streets, the platform for you to be real. We ain't come here to play. Listen, let's get into it, man. Hit that, let's subscribe to the channel, let's go. Got my nigga cheese in this bitch. Midwest. I said my hands on this money. I'm caught up in this lifestyle. This hundred round drummy. Hit a knock a nigga right down. My dope on my scale. If be knocking watch lights out. My spot do be booming. I'm caught up in this lifestyle. My hands on this money. Caught up in this lifestyle. I looked up the UGK. I still look up the UGK like I said before. This situation. I don't look at this situation and look at Bum B and say, well, Bum B ain't the nigga I thought he was. The streets have spoken for so many years for UGK, Bum B, Pimp C. So we got to stop taking what go on in people's personal life that got nothing to do with people's street character, how they moved in the streets, what they rap about, it has nothing to do about it. At the end of the day, Bum B almost 60. Why you think he making trail burgers? Because he needs something vegan because ground beef probably tearing his stomach up. He probably eat jello and pudding most of the day. I don't know how he living to be like this man is an old man now. A veteran, an OG, unk in the hood. And we sitting here treating this nigga right now. He Woody sitting on the stand pointing that young thug, top informant in the case. This ain't the case. And I think when I sit here and I say this, I think I speak for the whole Texas. When I say, I promise you, a lot of Houstonians, a lot of real UGK fans, a lot of people that praise the Texas culture and the legends that helped create it, right? Not looking at Bum B. He went against the streets, right? So my question to y'all is, what really get you the right? to judge Bum B's situation when in his situation, if you had done the same thing, the process would have went the same way or what? You ain't going to say nothing. Then they just be like, oh, you just, you just bust cuz and go lay down then. When you know that ain't the case. So at the end of the day, Bum B, his legacy, his character, I don't look at it no different. Before I even cut this computer on and, and begun doing this, I was sitting here listening to UGK. Diamonds up against the wood. Highlight. Bumby the story. I'm listening to songs from them because they are an inspiration to why I even had to start rapping as an artist. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, don't let what you see these bloggers edit and cut and splice and put over these YouTube platforms. And sometimes some of these people need to be spoke on and judged because they doing certain things that they need to be accountable for. But right now, what we talking about with Bum B, this ain't one of them times. Bum B went through some things. His family was a target of that. We talking about this man right here is the person that violated. This man right here was the person that protected his home. You gotta know the difference, bro. This ain't, they both was in the car. They going to slide. 
They get pulled over the tool in the car. Nobody want to claim it. Now all of a sudden, Bun B on the stand. This ain't that. So know the difference. And some of y'all ain't really been in the streets anyway. So we got to keep in mind that when y'all being judgmental and criticizing people that actually was out there, had to go through the struggle, had to experience certain things that you would never have to experience. You see what I'm saying? So, so majority of the people that's speaking on Bumby and they on the other side of the fence about it. You probably never had nobody for a stay way in your house, put your family in jeopardy. You see what I'm saying? So it's easy for you to be critical in a situation of, about somebody else. Think before you speak sometime. Shout out to Bum B. Condolences to his family because at the end of the day, Bum B stood up for his family like a man post to for his family. I'm never going to discredit a nigga doing that, man. I'm never going to do that. We got to start looking at why the young continuously we tearing down our own is what I'm saying. You're saying because I can't put it on just him. Me included. In my past, I participated in everything I speak on today. But at the end of the day, I feel like it's partly my job to speak on a lot of things that got to do with the street. Because at the end of the day, I feel like this part of my redemption, too. We got to play our part in fixing, in fixing what's broke. Sometimes they say don't try to fix what ain't. This is broken. We are broken. We got to fix this. But at the end of the day, instead of always trying to be critical and judge somebody, how can we fix it? That's what we need to ask ourselves sometimes. How can we fix how things are going in our communities? Because at the end of the day, Bum B been well off for a minute. He ain't stayed in the hood, in the trenches for a long time. Yet the trenches end up at his house and he was in danger. His family was in danger. So it don't matter where you stay. Somebody told me this back in the day. It don't matter how much you try to avoid things. Sometimes trouble find you. And I found that to be true. And in Bum B's case, they was minding their business, doing the family thing like they do. His wife downstairs. He's upstairs. He comes through the door. Who's the first person, right? The wife. Bum B is forced to defend his household, his family. It's going down right now. Keep in mind, this wasn't in the hood. It's in a good neighborhood. Keep in peace. He's supposed to be at peace where he had his face supposed to be peaceful. Yet it was put in danger because somebody decided they wanted to change the course of him and his family's day. And people want to say, well, he ain't no street nigga because he rapped about trafficking and doing this. Man, shut up, nigga. Let somebody force their way in your mama crib. Hopefully she make it up out that safe. But you, she's calling the police. She gonna talk to the police. She gonna, nigga, she's not a street. Bump be participating in the streets, but this man is 60. He's no longer outside. Putting Dracos in the video. 50 niggas with him. He living off the lifestyle he created that he got to live off of over time. He's living off of that. He enjoying the fruits of his labor, bruh. And we sitting here trying to take everything away from Bun B because he stood on the stand and explained to these folks how the situation panned out, how it did. That's not a co-defendant right there. That's the one that violated to begin with. He lucky he got a chance to be sitting in court and watch Bun B explain how the situation panned out versus get put in a box and it be justified. Your family crying forever. His family safe. So we got to look at the bigger picture, man. That's all I'm trying to say, man. So once again, man, shout out to Bum B. Shout out to Houston. Condolences to Bum B and his family, man. And most importantly, for Bum B standing up for his household, man, because we not pointing that out and being specific about that. Because a lot of you niggas use your significant other as a shield if it came down to it. So why y'all talking? Y'all kind of need to shut the fuck up because Bun B did what a real man supposed to do when somebody in violates your space and put your family in harm's way. Hit that like, subscribe to the channel. It's time for that. Culture for the streets, man. Rest in peace. Pimp C. I'm out of here.